Hey everyone, it's Lindsay with Smooth Sailing Business Growth. And today I wanna to talk to you about optimizing your Facebook posts. So what I mean by that is when you're posting a blog or a podcast or just a post in general onto your social media to obviously get people to check it out, click on the link and absorb your content, you wanna make sure that the graphic that's showing is optimized and that it's selecting the right graphic that's gonna capture their attention and make them wanna click. So let me um, explain that and share it with you um, with, with one of my blogs. So I'm gonna dive in here. So this is one of my blogs here, and this is kind of the back end of my WordPress site. You'll see here that a featured image is not selected, and I also have a Facebook Open Graph um, plugin, again, that allows you to optimize what graphic is being shown and represented through Facebook. Nothing is selected there. So let me show you what this blog will look like because of that. So I've already went ahead and put the URL in there, and what happens is, Facebook auto-populates finding an image from the website in general. So typically it'll pick, you know, your banner on your home page. It the sizing you can see is it's kind of cutting off some of the top words. It is is not sized well, it does not look well, and it really doesn't even fit what the topic is. You know, clearly I haven't put in my status or my teaser. Um, but it doesn't reflect what the topic is. It's not gonna grab someone's attention. It's not compelling. And here's how you change that. So I'm gonna go back into my WordPress site and I'm gonna select the featured image that went with that blog. And um, as a side note, notice that my uh, alt text, my SEO keyword is in there. Bonus tip for today. <laughs> now, sometimes the WordPress site will automatically I guess it's through a code, use the featured image to talk to Facebook. So I am going to update this. And then I'm gonna use the URL again in Facebook and you will see that that featured image will pop up because of that URL. Now, before this kind of kicks in, it takes a second. If the featured image in WordPress is not allowing that to happen and it's still pulling up that, that banner picture from the home page, then that's why you need this plugin that's at the very bottom here, the Facebook Open Graph plugin. So it allows you to use, um, again, you can just upload the picture or choose the picture in this section. And that for sure will select the right picture for your post. So I am gonna go ahead and let's see if it auto-populates and changes that for me without me messing about and having to, yeah, it did not. So I'm gonna start all over again here. And what I'm gonna do is just go to my profile. And then I will start again. It was getting hung up because I uh, already had something in there. See, there we go, perfect. So this then, with the featured image alone, I didn't actually need that plugin for the Facebook Open Graph, it then showed the graphic that I wanted it to. So it's got that preview. So I hope that tip was super helpful. Um, again, I wanna make sure that your, your content is being represented well in your social media platforms, because that's what's gonna bring you your organic traffic, and that's what's gonna get you to grow your audience engage in your content and obviously from there create more lead gen and conversions as well so that's it for this week have a profitable and productive weeks folks and may the winds always be at your back and if you haven't already uh, be sure to check out um, one of my great reports which is ssonlinesupport.com slash be productive some great tips on how to be really productive in your business um, to get more done in less time. So have a great day. See ya.